Well, I've been wanting to make a video of my AC unit for a while, but haven't really gotten around to doing it. It's a round one, as you can see. Carrier Deluxe High Efficiency. Alright, model number is 38EH042320, and the date code is 09 88. It's the 1988 model, and uh, last year Carrier made this style or a unit with spine fins before they went to their Tech 2000 design. This is a deluxe model, and the deluxe models have these louvers over the coils. If this was just a regular model, you'll just see a bare coil instead. Now about the spine fins, uh, the spine fins were originally invented and patented by GE, now Train, sometime in the late 60s, early 70s, I believe. And in sometime in the early 80s, Carrier decided to copy the spine fin and came up with this, which they called the E-coil, sent 38E in the model number. Now, from what I heard, uh, while it worked great for a straight cool unit like this one, uh, Carrier had a lot of problems with using their spine fins on the heat pumps due to water shedding because of design. They didn't defrost as well, but they work great for their straight cooling unit. So far this unit's worked pretty well. Um, had to replace the contactor once and it's blown a couple of fuses. Let's see, are there any wasps in here? Nope. Well, it's blown a couple of fuses. One thing I suggest is uh, those connections you see underneath the fuses, uh, check to make sure that they're not loose because uh, this one was loose and what that th did was it caused that fuse holder to heat up and it kept blowing this fuse. I went through three fuses before I figured out and corrected the problem. Oh yeah, and uh, that little uh, plastic sheet that covers up the wiring is missing. It just crumbled when I removed it one day. Now the fan motor uh, seized up last year. I was able to I was able to save the fan motor by squirting a bunch of oil into it and using a pair of vice grips on the shaft to break it loose. Uh, let's see uh, if uh, it still spins. Well, it still spins freely right now, but. Maybe someday I'll replace it with an A.O. Smith Heatmaster motor. Well, so far, this unit's worked pretty good. It still runs today. Now, high efficiency, uh, I don't know how high efficiency it is. Uh, don't think it's any more than 9 sear for a unit this old, but if anyone could figure out what the sear is on this unit, please let me know. Over and out.